all about PhD research studies. This is a post about the PhD process. If you're interested in pursuing a PhD, it will help you understand how the system works. It is not meant to be exhaustive. What is a PhD program? A PhD program is one where students earn their degrees by completing research and writing a dissertation under the supervision of faculty members who serve as their advisors. Do I have to enroll in an online PhD program? No. Many schools offer both on-campus and fully online options, so it's up to you whether or not you'd like to go through the entire process without ever leaving your home, school, or library, or all three. If you're interested in taking classes in person at your local college system but would prefer not having a traditional classroom setting, then perhaps an online program would be best suited for your needs. The major difference between a PhD and a professional doctorate. The key difference between a PhD and a professional doctorate is that a PhD is a research degree, while the professional doctorate is a more applied or practitioner focused degree. The two are similar in terms of their structure, but they're distinct in many ways. For example, a PhD will usually take longer than one to three years, the length of time it takes to complete an MSc, but shorter than five years, the standard length of time for an MD. Meanwhile, professional doctorates tend to be shorter because they focus on specific skills rather than academic knowledge alone. However, some professional doctorates do require students to complete an original piece of research, these are known as hybrid programs where coursework and research combine together into one integrated unit with its own titles such as professional practice with an emphasis on community development or geographic information systems with public policy emphasis etc. What is a thesis? The thesis is a document that you will write under the guidance of your supervisor. It is usually around 100 pages long and will be based around the research that you have been doing during your PhD. The thesis should be written in a clear and logical way, using the format that is required by your university. Your supervisor will help to edit and check it over before it goes to external examiners, who are experts in their field. You must also write a short summary of what the main points of your thesis are at the beginning, this usually appears on page 1, which summarizes everything else that follows. The most important thing about writing a thesis is making sure that it uses correct spelling, grammar and punctuation. If English isn't your first language then I'd recommend getting someone who does speak English well to proofread anything important before submitting it for examination. Is there any difference between the terms thesis and dissertation? The term dissertation refers to a written piece of work that is written by a student after completing the course and submitted to fulfill the requirements of a PhD. The term thesis is used for academic purposes and it means any kind of academic work which may or may not have an end result in form of final submission. What is a successful defense? The dissertation defense is a public presentation of the dissertation and marks the end of your doctoral studies. It's usually held in a large auditorium, and anyone is allowed to attend. The defense committee will typically include faculty members from different departments who are experts in your field. There are three types of defenses, preliminary, also known as proposal, dissertation, and final, also known as successful. In a preliminary defense you present a proposal for your dissertation to your committee, if they approve it, you can continue with full-scale research on the topic until enough evidence has been gathered for an entire book or article. If approved by all professors on the committee, this becomes part of one's official curriculum vitae CV. After gathering enough data through research methods such as interviews with experts or surveys sent out via email listservs or websites like Reddit or Google Plus communities where people might be interested in learning more about certain topics related to what you're researching. Am I required to have a study advisor? If so, who is my study advisor? Your choice of a study advisor, also known as supervisor, is very important. You can choose your own study advisor, or if you don't choose one, one will be assigned to you by the faculty of your department. If it turns out that the person who is assigned to be your study advisor isn't right for you and you decide that another faculty member in the same department would be more suitable, then there are formal procedures for requesting someone else instead. You should also note that having a PhD does not mean that all research work must come under supervision at all times. 
This is because many jobs require only an MSc degree or equivalent, which means they do not require supervision from university staff members during work hours but rather may provide other forms of support such as access to lab equipment or new techniques slash methodologies being developed within industry sectors such as pharmaceuticals slash biotechnology etc. Where employees can apply these skills towards their daily routines without direct involvement from their employer's main research teams. When will the next round of scholarships be available? What are the application deadlines? Where can I apply for scholarships? Will I automatically receive a scholarship when I'm approved for registration as a doctoral candidate? Or do I need to apply separately for one? When will the next round of scholarships be available? What are the application deadlines? Where can I apply for scholarships? Will I automatically receive a scholarship when I'm approved for registration as a doctoral candidate? Or do I need to apply separately for one? The answer depends on where you're applying. There are different rules and procedures at each university, so we recommend contacting them directly if you have any questions about their specific program or requirements. Is there any difference between the terms thesis and dissertation? No, they mean exactly the same thing, an original contribution to knowledge in some field of study based on original research. Where can I find information about scholarship opportunities for PhD students? Each university has its own process for awarding scholarships and fellowships. Please check with your school's financial aid office to learn more about their policies and procedures. Conclusion The best way to learn about research is by doing it. The first step is to find a topic that interests you, then start reading up on the relevant literature and talking with people who have done similar work before. When an idea comes along, write down some notes or make some sketches so that when you get back from vacation or whatever other reason made you stop working on this project, or even if you never stopped, then at least there's somewhere else besides your mind where all those good ideas were stored. Thanks for watching. Written and edited by Professor Zobdorides.